As L'Oreal becomes more digitally focused, that focus isn't just on product. In early 2018, L'Oreal bought Toronto-based Modiface, a company specialising in artificial intelligence and augmented reality. We had this website where you could change your lips with um, a celebrity. You could have different lips or different eyes for fun. And uh, my co-founder had the idea, well, what if we let them have a facelift? So there was a facelift button that you could apply on, on your image. And that got the attention of a marketing manager at, a, at the company that makes Botox. And so our first simulation when we were started was for simulating skincare products. And eventually from there we moved to makeup and hair. It began by allowing people to upload pictures and eventually video to allow users to find out which colours and products worked for them. It was all about being realistic. What we do, uh, I would say better than anyone else, is simulating real products. So our goal isn't to airbrush a photo to the maximum effect. It, it is to, if this is a foundation or a lipstick or a hair color, we just want to match that precise shade and effect. And it wasn't long before L'Oreal noticed what they were up to. L'Oreal had started to look into augmented reality and they had seen the results. They'd seen that it's engaging. As the technology got better and as we had more deployments, it became clear that it actually had an impact on conversions. We've seen a three times increase in, in sales, which is substantial. And the last factor was that this is something that every retailer and tech companies were interested in. This is a capability. Filters, photo filters are becoming very popular. And L'Oreal was one of the first companies to realize the impact of this technology. And so now the question is not, is it effective? The question is, how quickly can we deploy it and scale it globally? It's not just about having an app online, it's about an in-store experience too. It's why the technology has been made open source to retail and channel partners. We partner with Macy's, with, um, with tech companies like WeChat and Facebook, with Amazon. And so the, the retailer aspect of what we do is very important as well. It allows um, L'Oreal retail partners to also use our technology and provide beneficial service to their users. But we're constantly looking at what is the next stream, or what is the next platform. So we found, for example, in China, messaging is, is a major um, avenue by which people find and buy products. So we partnered with WeChat to provide our capability directly in WeChat to customers for L'Oreal brands. So streams will change, but our technology will adapt over time. This sort of technology has been around for a while. It allows an image to be changed in real time, but why is it useful for marketers? The most effective ads um, are actually not ads, they're services. So when someone comes on a L'Oreal um, website and instead of telling them, you know, just this, here's a lipstick and, and, you know, for everyone, same product, letting them play with different colors and then recommending what might be best for them or what options might match the lipstick that they have added to the basket. That is really the most effective. Integrating this type of virtual try-on technology for brands and for the consumers, really it's helping that whole omni-channel experience become 360. So whether you're being present on a website, it's on a mobile app, you're in-store, any touch point for a consumer, this is going to be present there and it's just helping to tie everything with a neat little bow. So you go in, you explore the products, you can try them on, you feel like you've gotten a personalized experience, you're happy with the results and then you purchase the products and you leave. Augmented reality is maturing rapidly, so what's next for this kind of technology? I think the future is voice. Um, it's slowly starting to creep into the industry, but I think in the next five, ten years, you're going to see it everywhere. The way that it works with L'Oreal and the Modiface technology, it's, it's a perfect way to have a conversation with a consumer or with a beauty advisor, but you're doing it with the virtual try-on application to be able to ask something quickly. Um, I need to see any blue eyeshadows you have or show me the red matte lipstick. It's just another natural way of exploring. You're looking in a mirror and then you can have a conversation, you can visually see. So it's touching all of the senses, really. From understanding someone's um, skin and being able to recommend what products might be just best for them, that personalization, which our technology enables, I think is the future of marketing in, in many industries, and but especially in beauty. L'Oreal has made a number of acquisitions. For example, Modiface. What's your involvement in these as the chief digital officer? Modiface is a great story. Uh, Modiface used to be a long, long-standing partner of ours. We, we've worked with them for seven years, and suddenly we really realized that augmented reality was becoming a key thing, not just a trend, but a key thing in the way people and consumers were discovering our brands, were obviously experimenting our brands and also buying our brands. And so we thought that it would be 
building a key competitive advantage by insourcing that, that, you know, that expertise and that talent. We have created a fantastic bridge between Modiface and, and, and L'Oréal brands. And today Modiface is being rolled out across all our brands and across all our websites, our apps, our point of sales. And it's been a great story so far. Hi, I'm James Wright and thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.